This video is going to show you what it's like to get started with Xamarin using Visual Studio 2019. First things first, run the Visual Studio installer. Click the link to select from available installations. Look for Visual Studio Community 2019 and click the install button. From here, you want to make sure you select mobile development with .NET. And you want to include Android Studio Setup and IntelliCode. As you might expect, it's going to take a little time to download and install everything. Once it is ready, come back here and hit launch. After launching, it's time to create a new project. Under type, select mobile. For this video, we're going to go with the Xamarin Forms mobile app. Put in the project name and location and hit create. For the template, we'll go with a blank template for iOS and Android. In the Solution Explorer on the right, you'll see three projects. One for Android, one for iOS, and then your common code. Open main page.xaml. This is a Xamarin Forms layout. We can look at the XML or the UI using this design option here. This will try to render the layout as it looks on a real device. Since our platform is currently set to Android, that's the device it's trying to render for. This layout just has a simple text box that says Welcome to Xamarin Forms. The layout can't be rendered for an iOS device yet because we haven't set up our Mac. Before we set that up, let's go ahead and run this on an Android emulator. First, we install a new emulator. Doesn't matter which type of device, let's just go ahead and hit Create and then accept the agreement. This will take a little while to finish. Once it's done, hit start. And it takes quite a while to load up the emulator. I'll fast forward here in a second. So now that the emulator is running, let's try to run the Android build. And the build process here is going to take a bit, especially since this is the first build. But once it's done, it's going to try to install it on the emulator. Once it's installed for the first time, it does take a second to load. I think that's because it's a debug build. Once it loads, we see the text that we expect. We can background it, open up the launcher, and put the app icon on the home screen and launch from there. Now let's try to get it running on the iOS simulator. For this, we're going to need to connect to a Mac. If I select the iOS project and try to run it on a simulator, I'll see some instructions for connecting to a Mac. I'll follow these steps on my MacBook, which is on the same internal network. Under Preferences Sharing, I'll enable Remote Login. This will allow Visual Studio to SSH into my account. Now I will add my Mac by its IP address. And I'll log in with my Mac's user account's username and its password. Once it connects, Visual Studio will need to install Mono on your Mac. If you have an older version installed, you may see a message about a mismatch. After that finishes, you'll need to install the Xamarin iOS SDK. 
If your X code is out of date, you'll need to press OK on the warning. You should now be connected to your Mac. This means that we should now be able to see what our layout would look like on an iOS device. Switch back and forth between the Android and iOS tabs to refresh. Now let's try running our iOS project on the simulator. If you got the warning about Xcode being out of date, your build will fail. Say no when you're alerted to the build failure. You can see the actual failures in the output window at the bottom of Visual Studio. Let's fix this by updating Xcode through the App Store on our Mac. Once Xcode is done updating, you can rerun the iOS project. This time the iOS build should complete and Visual Studio will try to start up a simulator. In my case, the simulator failed to start for some reason. So I ended up stopping the build and then choosing a different simulator. The simulator that failed for me was the iPhone XR. This time I went ahead and I tried an iPhone 8. After some time, you should see the simulator pop up. Just like the Android emulator, it can take a while to load. Once the application loads, you'll see the text displayed just as expected. And now we've seen how you can create a brand new Xamarin project in Visual Studio 2019 and get it running on Android and iOS simulators. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.